Swinburne University of Technology. Hi and welcome to Swinburne Codecasts. I'm Andrew Kane. And I'm Ruben. And in this video, we're going to be looking at programs and sequence. So far, we've seen how we can compile programs from the terminal using the command line compiler uh, and using our build script for our swing game programs. Which is cool, but what exactly can I code into my programs? Well, there's a whole lot of things that we can code into our programs, but I think where we want to start is to understand that the computer runs our programs as a sequence of instructions. And so I think that's, that's where we can get started. Okay. What I would like to do then, um using swing game, as yep. you said, is yep. I'd like to make a basic illustration of my house. So can we do that? Yeah, let's, let's get started with that. So here what we've got is an empty program, has no instructions in it at the moment, but between the begin and end, we can provide a sequence of instructions for the computer to execute. The one instruction we can use at the moment is going to be called a procedure call. And what exactly is a procedure? So a procedure is like a small program. It's actually another list of instructions that performs a certain task. So let's add in two instructions to start with. Open graphics window and delay. So open graphics window, we pass it three values. And when we call that procedure, it has all of the instructions to make a window appear on your computer. Whereas the delay uh, procedure has all of the instructions to tell your computer to wait for a certain amount of time. And so we pass in 5,000s for delay, which is the number of milliseconds to wait. With open graphics window, we pass in three values being the title of the window and the window's width and height. Cool. So if we, if we switch to the terminal now, and compile and run this, we should see that program work. And so when we compile it, we use build.sh. You have to use cd to change into the directory first, remember that. Uh, and when we run it using the run script, it appears and we can see the window for five seconds. But it doesn't really have much in it yet. So it, my idea was uh, to draw our house. So where do you suppose we could start with that now that we've got our graphics window on a delay? So with this, we want, remember it's a sequence. So we want to show the picture after we've opened the window, but before we delay. Okay. So we would put the instructions in between. So we could start off by say, let's clear the screen to white. Yep. So there is a procedure called clear screen. We call clear screen. It's going to clear that window to white. And we can then add in one more which is refresh screen. When we call refresh screen, uh, it shows everything that has been drawn previously uh, onto the screen. This way we can draw you know, part of your house one piece at a time, but then only show the whole picture when it's finished. Cool. So let's switch back to the terminal, compile with build script, run with the run script, and we can now see the window open and this, the screen is cleared to white. Yeah, yep. Alrighty, well, let's start off with putting in, say, a hill. So how, how could we do that? So there is a fill, there's a number of uh, drawing procedures. So there's fill and draw procedures. So for each, of a number of different shapes. So we have fill ellipse, fill rectangle, fill triangle, uh, as well as draw ellipse, draw rectangle, draw triangle. Each of these takes a different number of parameters based on the shape. So the ellipse takes a color, as well as the X and Y position, which is the distance from the left-hand side of the screen mm -hmm. and the distance from the top of the screen. And then they take in the size. So an ellipse, we need to know the width of the ellipse, the width of the ellipse yeah. oh, and the height of the ellipse. <laughs> and so that's those extra parameters there. So the, in this case, it's gonna draw the, the ellipse at zero 400. So zero pixels from the left, but 400 pixels from the top. It's going to be 800 pixels wide and 400 pixels high. And it's going to be bright green. Yeah. Cool. So, so now if we if, yeah. run that, we can see that circle drawing. Sweet. And that's exactly what I do see there. So now I could draw the rest of my house uh, by adding in a rectangle and a triangle for the roof. Yeah, that's correct. And so the, the key bit to remember, though, is that you've got to put it in in the right sequence. So if you put the drawing of the rectangle before the drawing of the ellipse, then the hill would appear in front of the house. So the house would be behind the hill. Whereas if you do it the other way around, the house will be on top of the hill. Cool. So it's sequence, just like you said. We fill the ellipse first, and then we can fill the base of the house, and then we can put the roof on. Yeah, that's right. And so the key bit to remember for programs, programs run as a sequence of instructions. It starts at the top, and as the program executes, 
Each instruction runs one after the other. So when we run this program, what happens? The window opens, it clears the screen, it then fills the ellipse, it fills the tri the triangle, fills the <laughs> rectangle, yep. then fills the triangle, refreshes the screen, which shows everything to the user, delays for five seconds, and after five seconds, the program ends because we've reached the end of the instructions. Too easy. So I guess that wraps that up then. Yep. So that's it for programs and sequence. Uh, our future videos. So we've got a video on creating your own procedures. So now that you have an understanding of what they are, you can go ahead and create your own. And if you haven't checked them out already, you should check out the videos on compiling your code as well as navigating with the terminal. Okay. Hope you've enjoyed that and we look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye. Bye. This has been a Spindoin production.